All right, let's take a look at how we can handle problems that have to do with algebraic fractions. So algebraic, algebraic fractions come in this form. You have x variables here and there. And then you have two fractions that are separated by an equal sign. So the question is, how do you work out such problems as these to the end? So now you have to take note of this. If there's an equal sign here, what you need to do is uh, you simply cross multiply. So this three, which is a denominator here, will be multiplied by the numerator there. And this two there will be multiplied by the numerator there. So three, x plus two, there's an equal sign here, don't change that. Two, two x minus one, so we can work out this to the end by expanding the brackets. You multiply this 3 by, by x, that will be 3x, plus 3 times 2, that's a 6, and 2 times 2, that's 4x, minus 2 times 1, that's a 2. And so now, we can now collect the like terms. This 4x is a like term to 3x, so we can move it that side by actually bringing in the additive inverse of 4x, even this side, minus 4x, so that these will cancel. We're going to have a zero, and what will remain is negative two. And this one will give us 3x minus 4x, that's negative x, plus six. So we as well have to get rid of a six here by bringing in the additive inverse, which is negative six, even that side, negative 6. So these two will cancel, and we're going to have negative x, which is equal to, this will give us negative 8, because the signs are the same, so we have to add them. So now, we have to get rid of the negative sign in front of the, the x variable here, so we multiply both sides of the equation by the negative sign, this will give us positive x, Negative and negative that side that will be eight. So the answer is positive eight. So the value of x is positive eight. Let's check out this one. This one as well has to be worked out the way we have solved the first one. You cross multiply, five would be multiplied by twelve, and then this one will be multiplied by three. So now five times two that's a ten. You remember one, five times one that's five plus six, five plus five, that's six. Three times x, that's three x, plus three times two, that's a six. This number and that number are like terms, so we need to get rid of this one from here by adding in an additive inverse of six, then that side, six. This one and that one will cancel, that will be three x. So six is t minus 6 minus 6, that will be 54. So our interest is to find the value of x. So we need to divide the 3 both sides of the equation. 2 into 3, that's 1. 1 into 1, 1 times x. That will give us x. Then 3 into 5, that's 1. You remember it too. 3 into 24, that's 8. Therefore, X is actually 18. Friends, that's how we go about you know solving these algebraic fractions. Thank you so much for watching. For the sake of tracing the channel, make sure that you hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that anytime I happen to post a video, you happen to be alerted.